Hi guys, my name is Vex and welcome back to my channel and today it's time to get through four unboxings. So guys, I have not unboxed a lot of things for a long time, so today I'm coming to you and I'm going to bring you all of my unboxings in the one video and as quickly as possible because I'm sure you don't want to sit here for half an hour. So let's get into the unboxings and let's do it as quick as possible. So the first book box we are going to be diving into is the Pride box from The Wire Chronicles. Now, this is the awesome bookmark that came in the Pride box. I've already unboxed it, but I wanted to show it to you, the, the books that they chose in their Pride box. The thing about this box and the reason I'm still showing them to you anyway is because I actually already purchased these books so when they arrived I was disappointed to find out that they were already my second copies but I'll be sending these to my friends so it's a win-win really. The first book that was included was Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde and I've already got a review for this book which I'll leave up there and down in the comments if you want to go check it out. This is an amazing, amazing diverse read and I definitely recommend it to everyone. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars and it came with a cute little note from Jen which I was really excited about. Her note says, I hope you see yourself within the pages and know that you are valid, you are important and you are powerful. So this is really cute and I love the addition of the little notes from the authors. The second book is released by Patrick Ness and this book Book looks amazing. I have not read it, but I'm excited that it was included. Again, it was accompanied by another note for the author, and I don't know much about release. All I can tell you is the back, which says, sometimes the end of your world is the start of your life. So, yeah, really excited. Next, I'm going to be unboxing the Maywire Chronicles box, so let's dig straight in. So, this is what I can see in the box. So I see a lot of goodies in this box. The first thing I see is this The Hunger Games Foil Pack Collectibles, and it looks like you can get Gale, Peter, or Katniss in this one, and they're like a little figurine. So, let's get started. I think that's supposed to be Peter. I'm not really sure. It's very tiny. That's him just there. I'm probably not going to be able to zoom in too much for you, but he's just a little... Just a little fingerine. Included in every box is our item card and our wonderful, wonderful bookmark, which is Volume 21, I See Fire. And I've been collecting these for a very long time now, so I've got a lot of Wire Chronicles bookmarks. The next item is this amazing candle, which is Fireheart from Cozy Corner Boutique on Etsy. So that's Fireheart, and it's like this nice little yellowy orange, really. It looks more orange on my end, but I think it's going to film different. And it smells of sandalwood, peony, and honeysuckle. So, oh my god, that's very, sm that's very strong. Oh, but it's a really beautiful scent. So that is really cute. And it's Fireheart, which I don't know whether that's Throne of Glass one. Fireheart? I don't know. Smells amazing. Next up we have this little wristband which has like the fire element on it. So I had to look up what this one was about. So this is a cute little bracelet with the fire on it. And it says life is calm and peaceful but everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Be part of the club with this Fire Nation bracelet inspired by Avatar and the Legend of Korra. So that's really cool. I have no idea what that's about so it doesn't mean much to me. Next up it's like this, it's this like little dragon book full of like stickies to put on your books. If you are a sticky person this is awesome for you I don't stick these on my books but I think they're really cute anyway I actually mark these on my textbooks when I'm going into an exam that's open books so this is still gonna be really helpful to me next up I see socks and that's awesome they're little Sailor Moon socks is that Sailor Mercury or something yes they are Sailor Mars socks and they're really cute so these bad boys are the cutest thing I've ever seen and I definitely will be using them I love Sailor Mars next we have this little pamphlet which is the Throne of Glass book folding pattern. It's a link to create your own, like, Selena in the Throne of Glass book. So that's really, really awesome. How do people think of these things? Lastly is the book for this month, and it is Flame of the Mist by Renee Ardier. And this is absolutely amazing. I've been really, really wanting this book. However, I believe it's in another one of the book boxes that I've got coming up. So this copy is going to my lovely friend Erina, and I'll be sending it to her shortly. But I'm really excited about Flame in the Mist. Flame in the Mist is supposed to be a like Mulan retelling about Mariko, who is the only daughter of a prominent samurai. But she is sent to the palace to meet her betrothed, so I'm assuming some arranged marriage shit is going on here for political reasons. This is the first time I've ever seen a Mulan retelling, so I'm really excited to dive into it. And hopefully it's as good as everyone is saying it is, because they have been raving about it. So that is one box down, and now we are moving on to fairy loot. This is so exciting, because this is my second fairy loot box, like, ever. And I'm excited to dive into it. Ooh, gosh. Little Gandhi in there. And the theme of this month was Warriors and Legends, and I'm 
yeah, I'm a little bit excited about this one too, although I'm pretty sure the book's the same as the other one, but that's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. First off, I see this candle from In the Wick of Time, which is mist, which is warm stone and wood smoke. This is the candle, and that looks really cool. Oh, and it's white, which is awesome. Oh my god, that's so smoky. You can smell the wood smoke there. But that's really beautiful. It's, it's like got an undertone of like vanilla or something. Yeah, I really like that. I really like the smoky scent to it. I've never actually had a In the Wick of a Time candle before, so I'm excited to have this one. Next up, Socks seems to be the flavor of the month this month. Celtic warriors are fearless, skilled, and deadly, and it's believed that women fought too. This is a fairy loot exclusive item. And yes, those are the Celtic socks, and it's got like fairy loot written on the bottom, which is really, really cute. And you can never really have enough socks, so love it. The next thing I see is Warriors and Legends Jasmine and Lychee Green Tea, which I'm assuming is an Owl Crate exclusive because it's named exactly after the box. And this green tea was made from the Tea Leaf Company, and that's really cute. I don't drink tea, so it's not really helpful to me. I'm going to give it a sniff anyway. Mm. That's the look of it. Yeah, that's oh, I don't like that. I don't like tea. I don't like that smell. No, 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 no. Ah, get it closed. I don't like it. So I'm not a tea drinker, so as you can see, I didn't really enjoy that smell. Um, but that is jasmine and lychee green tea. I don't think I liked the lychee, but if you like green tea, this is probably for you. Next up, I have this this feather, which is I believe it's a pen. Is it a pen? It's a pen, which is really cool. It's a bit large to hold in the hand, but I think it's a pretty amazing. And I like those sort of like that sort of like ink as well so it's not like a biro it's more like ink so this metallic feather pen is from flora's wonder emporium so i'll leave links to all these things down below if you want to go check them out but yeah really cute so continue diving through the box and my excitement's real because it's a freaking wooden bookmark from ink and wonder i absolutely love ink and wonder i have a few of their bookmarks on my shelf already but this one is really cute and i believe it's inspired by lord of the rings it says one ring to rule them all and that's really fantastic i love the wooden bookmarks and this is from an australian store so that's really really exciting because i love supporting australian businesses i'm really weirded out at the moment because there is another book in this box other than the book that's coming so that's exciting this is world mythology in bite-sized chunks by mark daniels and that's awesome that they've included another book in here oh look Oh, that's really cool. Look, it's Australian and Maori mythology. That's awesome. So it goes through all the different mythology. Oh, yeah, Aboriginal Australian mythology. That's awesome. Oh, I love that. That is so cool and so, so interesting. This fascinating guide reveals all the intriguing stories behind the titans and the creatures, gods and goddesses, heroes and traditions of legends from around the world in easily digestible bite-sized chunks. That's awesome. I freaking love this. Oh my goodness. And a chapla sampler was also included. And I'm going to butcher this. Um, so it is Neondel, which is the first book from The Red Abbey Chronicles by Maria Turchininoff, I believe. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I don't really know much about this. I don't know whether it's the second book in the series or the first, but it sounds good and I'll definitely check it out. Finally, we're up to the book in this one and I'm just gonna open it and see what we got. And these are so handy. So as usual, we got a fairy scoop, which I'll read through later, which is exciting. And I was right, we have The Flame and the Mist by Renee Ardier. I'm probably not gonna go through what this book's about because I've done that earlier, but I love it in hardcover and I'm excited to have this one. We also have a little bookmark in here now which has like the picture on the back which is awesome. Signed book play, letter from the author, and a flame in the mist bookmark. I also received my fairy loot number which is fairy loot 03692. So if you are that number, contact me and we can buddy read or talk about the book or something so that's cool. I absolutely love fairy loot boxes. They really, really put in more than any other book box I find. So I absolutely love that. And I'm, yeah, I haven't ordered another one yet. When I see a theme I want, I might grab another one. Next up is Owl Crate. <laughs> I know, you guys are probably thinking, Beck, holy shit, why don't you unbox your book boxes? But this is the Comic Explosion. And it's really, really cool. I love comics, so I felt like this one would be right up my alley. So first off, I see a freaking full-size Funko Pop. And I got Harley Quinn. So I think we could have got six in this book box, which was Harley Quinn, Superboy, Batman Beyond, Dark Seed, Nightwing, or Harley Quinn with Mallet. So I just got plain Harley Quinn. She's got a gun. She's amazing. And I can't wait to add her to my collection. What's going on here? Oh, no, we got chocolate. Stop it. We do. We have 
Cafe Premium Coffee Candy. I've never seen chocolate included in these boxes before, so I definitely appreciate that because I love chocolate. Next up, we have a Wonder Woman candle, which is an Outcrate exclusive from Dio Candle Company. I don't know what it smells like though. Maybe we'll just open it. Oh, that smells like passion fruit. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's so cool. It's really red. I love that. It doesn't say what it smells like, but I'm telling you, that is passion fruit. And I freaking love it. That scent's so beautiful. It comes in a little glass jar. That's awesome. Oh, and also 10% off my next order. Thank you. Appreciate that. Next up, we have our little pen, which comes every month, which is awesome. And a pen. What the fudge in hell is that? It's one of those ones where you change the color pens. It's a pen from Uli too, so that's really cool. I love that. That's a really cool pen. I'm probably not going to use it because it looks like it might break pretty easy. Next up, we have a... Oh, uh, what is that? What is this? Oh, it's a zipper puller. That's interesting. I don't know what to do with that. We're nearly at the bottom of this one, guys. And we have a exclusive chapter excerpt from Afar by Leela DeLuca and Kit Seaton. Edited by Tanika Stott. Oh, it's a graphic novel. That's awesome. Graphic novel. It looks really cool. It is the nameless city meets Star Wars in this epic young adult fantasy adventure with the spirit of spunk of Delilah Dirk and the Turkish Lieutenant. I don't know. I like that. The artwork looks really beautiful, so I'm excited to give this one a go to. And this is the book. Oh my goodness. So the book included in the May Owl Crate is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Sapia, I believe. And apparently this is an Owl Crate exclusive cover. And they're doing that for a couple of boxes this year, so that's really freaking cool. I received the Heartless box, which was the exclusive cover, and that cover did not disappoint and this one's pretty cool too. So it says, in the real world, Eliza Merck is shy, weird and friendless. Online, she's Lady Constellation, the anonymous creator of the wildly popular webcomic Monstrous Sea. Eliza can't imagine enjoying the real world as much as she loves the online one and she has no desire to try. Then Wallace Warland, Monstrous Sea's biggest fan fiction writer, transfers to her school. Wallace thinks Eliza's just another fan and he draws her out of her shell. She begins to wonder if a life online might be worthwhile. That's really cool. I like that. It's got little excerpts and stuff. Yeah, I'm excited to dive in Eliza and her monsters. I don't know why. It's just a little bit different, but I'm really, I really enjoy the premise. With every owl crate, we have a letter from the author and a signed book plate, which says, fight your monsters. Along it is also this, which is an exclusive art for this book, I believe. And it says, there are monsters in the sea. You found me in a constellation. So check that one out. It's really, really beautiful. This is cool. And as usual, in the bottom of every owl crate is next month's theme, which is... The theme of the June box is Make It Out Alive. That's awesome. It sounds really dystopian, which is right up my alley. In the June box, you'll receive an exclusive item from Fizzy Fairy Apothecary. But it basically looks like bath bombs, and I freaking love bath bombs. So that's awesome. That's all our unboxings for today, guys. That was four unboxings really quickly, as rapidly as I could do it. And I hope you enjoyed. And it's 27 minutes, but hopefully I can cut that down. Oh, dear God. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more and have not already. And chat to me down in the comments about these book boxes. What book box do you subscribe to? And which one was your favorite out of this month's unboxings? That's all from me today, guys. I'll chat to you really, really soon. And have an awesome day. Bye.